Mother Nature continues to throw a wrench into the spring sports schedules. And as a reminder, one week from today is the Day of Giving. So mark your calendars for April 26th for the Day of Giving. Last Thursday, the softball team headed inside a dome in West St. Paul to sweep Minnesota Morris in the doubleheader. In game one, the Jackets scored 10 runs off 11 hits from 14 batters in the first frame. But they weren't finished yet as they added three more runs in the third and four in the fourth. The Jackets take game one 17 to two in five innings. Taylor Kramer allowed just four hits and one earned run before giving away to Emma Pillion, who closed out the game. Then in game two, the Jackets scored five in the second inning, and that would be all the offense that they would need. And although the Cougars would try to rally in the top of the seventh by adding two runs, the Jackets defense quickly shut it down to get the win five to two. Allison Luma picked up the win in the circle with five hits, two earned runs, and two walks for her sixth complete game of the season. The softball team also reached a major milestone earlier this afternoon as they became the second fastest in program history to reach 20 wins in the split doubleheader at Crown earlier this afternoon. In Game 1 versus the Storm, the Jackets quickly jumped out to a 2-1 to one lead just after one inning of play. And then the Jacket offense continued to roll off the hit, scoring four in the second, one in the third, and two in the fourth, and then three in the fifth to close out the Storm 12-1 to one off 17 hits from the Jacket offense. Kayla Kramer would steal four bases along with Tiffany Kirk, who also stole two bases. In Game 2, the Jackets quickly jumped out to a 1-0 lead as Taylor Kramer singled to left field to score her sister Kayla, taking the 1-0 lead. But then in the bottom of the first, Crown would add two runs, and then in the third, add another run. So now the scoreline was 3-1 to one with the Storm leading. But then in the fourth, the Jackets would add two runs, and we'd tie the game up at three. But then in the bottom of the fourth inning is where the Storm offense just took off as they would add four runs in that bottom half of the inning and the Storm would win, the day, win this game 7-3. Turning things over to baseball as the team played Minnesota Morris over at Wade Stadium on Saturday, the Jackets got on the board in the first inning by scoring two runs. The Cougars, though, would add one in the third, and the scoreline stayed at 2-1 to one until the bottom of the seventh. Singles from Sam McNosky and Nick Fredrickson brought another pair of runners in. But then in the eighth, the Cougars scored two. But Matt Tabby would come in, and he limited the Cougars to just one hit over the final two frames to earn his first save of the season. Ryan Rodriguez had four strikeouts, scattering eight hits, and did not walk a batter. The Jackets pick up the close win, 4-3. to three. Now here's a quick look at where the conference stands right now. Also note that some teams have been able to play more conference games than the Jackets and other teams as well. So keep an eye on that as we still have lots of baseball to play left in this season.